Working abroad can be fun and lucrative, but it can also present unforeseen dangers. Saudi Arabia versus Nelson involves an American contractor whose overseas job devolved into an unmitigated nightmare. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia owned and operated the King Faisal Specialist Hospital in Riyadh. Roy Speck Purchasing Services was its purchasing agent in the United States. The hospital's recruiting agent regularly recruited personnel in the U.S. Scott Nelson was hired to be a monitoring systems engineer for the hospital. He signed his employment contract in Florida. Nelson attended an orientation program in Tennessee and then traveled to Saudi Arabia to begin his job. Nelson discovered and reported safety defects in the hospital's oxygen and nitrous oxide lines. Hospital officials repeatedly told him to ignore the problems. Finally, the hospital summoned Nelson to the security office, where agents of the Saudi government arrested him. Nelson was shackled, beaten, and flung into a crowded, rat-infested cell in al sajan prison. He never learned the nature of the charges against him. Government agents forced him to sign a statement written in Arabic, which he couldn't read. A Saudi official tried to get sexual favors from Nelson's wife. Finally, a U.S. senator intervened, and Nelson was released. Nelson sued the government of Saudi Arabia, Roy Speck, and the recruiting agent, seeking damages for several intentional torts and failure to warn of the dangers of employment. The district court found that imprisonment and torture didn't fall within the commercial activity exception of the Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act and dismissed the case for lack of subject matter jurisdiction. The 11th Circuit reversed, holding that Nelson's recruitment and hiring were commercial activities in the United States. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.